Look, Mommy, what are those? But those are dolphins, honey. They are friends. Not many kids get to see a real dolphin on their sixth birthday. Can you swim with them? Who knows? Maybe they come back. Sometimes they even let you ride on their backs. I want to do that. Breathe through this thing here, and if it fills up with water, just lean your head back and spit like I taught you. You taught her how to spit? You never know when it's going to come in handy. Wait for mommy. Okay. Naya! Naya, wait for me! She'll be fine. It's only a few feet deep here. Mother Nature knows better how to take care of him. Why don't you put him back down so he can go back to his mommy? Okay, bye bye, surface. Hey, come down here. She's having the time of her life. Okay, I'm coming. Naya! Naya! Naya, answer me! Can you see her, Rick? She's okay. She can hold her breath longer than I can. Not that long. Naya! Naya, answer me! Look, Mommy! A dolphin! Here's one with the Naya, no! Naya, that's not a dolphin! Where did you go? 
Something can take it away! Cast off the line! Not now! Oh, come on! She's over there! Come on! I thought you said no one ever comes to the side of the island. Am I paying you to think? Or am I paying you to fish? Now get that bait in the water. You let her get some sleep. She had a pretty rough day yesterday. She had a rough day? I thought she was gonna get eaten by a shark right in front of me. Well, the good news is she didn't. Shark attacks are extremely rare, especially in the open ocean. Sure. Roger, I know you're out there. More people are killed by falling coconuts than by sharks. Yeah, right. I'm serious. And don't get me started on cows. Stop. I wonder if we should take her to see someone. Like who? A shark whisperer? It's not funny. Did you hear her cry all last night? It's me, Naya! Don't you remember me? I'm the one who pulled your hook out! I'm sorry about leaving you so sudden. Mom and Rick didn't understand. They didn't know you are my friend. Come on, Raja. Stop playing hard to get. You're hurting my feelings. She's only upset because she thought that shark was her friend. If anybody needs to see someone, maybe it's you. Well, what do you expect? If I lost her too, I don't know what I would do. Look, you're not going to lose anybody else. I may not make the kind of money he did, but the stress of charter fishing is not going to drive me to an early grave like his job did. Naya! Naya, breakfast! Well, she's awake now, along with the rest of the neighborhood. I brought you a treat. Tuna fish. You do like tuna, don't you? My favorite fish is wahoo, but fresh caught tuna's close second. I guess you like yours raw, though. I'm not old enough to eat sushi. But tuna salad is pretty close. I hope you like mayo. I can't eat tuna without mayo. Naya! 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 Okay, Roger. Come and get it.
Get away from there. That's Roger's sandwich. Shoo! See, they got it all. They know it's good. Don't let them get the rest of it. I made it special just for you. Hurry up, they're getting it again. Shoot. Find <laughs> me, Daddy. Oh, sorry, honey, Daddy can't right now. But I will after the noon broadcast, promise. Be on time. I have a research grant proposal I have to present to the committee this afternoon, and I can't be late. Honey, I might have a late. Naya! Naya! Hey, guys. You seen Naya this morning? No. no. Is, is everything all right? Naya! I don't know. Naya, where are you? Pia, have you seen Naya this morning? Where? Where did you see her? It's okay. You can tell us. She asked me to go to the beach with her, but I told her I can't go to the beach without mommy and daddy. I'm gonna get my car. Come on, we'll take mine. I'll stay here with her. Just don't forget my grant proposal. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thanks for doing this. Anytime, bro. What are neighbors for? <laughs> Did she ever run off like this before? No, but she had a pretty harrowing experience with a shark yesterday, and she's been acting weird ever since. A shark? It's a long story. Well, you know I love long stories. After all, I am the number one reporter in the Bahamas. Let's just say she took a ride on what she thought was a dolphin. No way. We had to chase them halfway to Southwest Reef. I had to pull her out of the water by her heels. And get this, she was furious at me. Well, you know Ellie is a marine biologist. She's told me about things like that. Here's Julie. Hurry up! There's no telling what she's doing. Give me a call. Rick said she had some unusual experience with a shark yesterday. Unusual? That doesn't even describe it. Better get away from me, or you'll be sorry. Julie, you and Clifford go down that way. I'll go to the jetty. Okay, you ask for it. Roger! Roger! Julie! Clifford! Come on, we gotta get you out of those wet clothes before you catch your death. You don't need to carry me, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're not allowed to go to the beach by yourself, you know that. And you're all wet. And what is that? Is that blood in your arm? My back off, I just need 
get a little me time. Oh, hey, you've got yourself a handful there. You don't know the half of it. So, tell me about the other half, you know, especially about the shark ride. Ellie might want to talk to her. In fact, she's doing a grand proposal right now to protect the sharks. Protect the sharks? From what? The shark finners, man. Where you all been? You never heard of shark fin soup? Yeah. yeah. They're killing sharks by the tens of millions over there. Just for their fins. They sell for more than drugs. They catch the sharks, chop off their fins, and throw them back in the ocean where they bleed to death. Seriously? Cutting off the fins and throwing them back to suffer? That, that's just wrong. Yeah, I've done a couple of stories about it in the newscast. They fish their sharks to near extinction in the Pacific. So now they're coming over here trying to get ours. Well, they can have them. Hey, don't let Ellie hear you say that. She'll tell you straight up. Without the sharks, all those reefs out there, all those fish, they'll be dead, gone. Yeah, well, Ellie knows a lot more about all of that than I do. But all I can say is that there's a lot of money changing hands. I've been trying to do a story about this for the past few months, and my boss keeps shutting me down. Hmm. Anyways, you guys gonna walk or ride? We'll walk. Thanks for everything. That's what neighbors are for. Hey, boss. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Yeah, I'm on my way. Listen, we had a little emergency in the neighborhood, but it's all good now. Hey, boss, while I have you on the line, you remember that shark conservation story I was pitching you on? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's something totally different. Picture this. Little girl makes friends with a man-eating shark. I'm thinking of... Get the bait in the water. You can't catch no shark with no bait in the water. 